Hey everyone, Sylvia and Miyoko here today. <laughs> Hi baby. Look at you, you're so cute, Mama. Look at you. Oh, you've got some dirty, dirty paws. Today's video I am super excited about because I've been looking forward to this part of my wedding journey for quite a while now, simply because I love curating really great gifts for people. So this gives me the perfect excuse to curate a really lovely gift package for some of my favorite people in my life. Although my wedding this year has been canceled and postponed until next year, there were just too many cute things on David's bridal that I needed to cop right away. So I'll just put them away in my drawer and my girls won't be able to have it until then. I'm so happy that I get to partner with David's bride on this because they have everything, like everything you've ever wanted for a bridesmaids package. A lot of these things are actually really cute for a bridesmaids proposal as well, but this for me is going to be the package they receive when they meet up with me at the hotel the night before my wedding. You always have to start with a really good thank you card, and I pride myself on being a very good card writer. I'm the type of person where I'm not very good with my words uh, verbally when it comes to emotional things. I just get really uncomfortable to be honest with you but I really do love pouring my emotions into words I just feel like when it gives me the opportunity to just sit and think about it I can really put into words how much someone means to me but when it comes to speaking about it I'm like so I got one of the thank you for being my maid of honor cards and then I got two of the thank you for being my bridesmaid. So you gotta find something to put all the little gifts in and I thought it'd be nice to have it be double functional uh, as something that they can also bring to the hotel as well. So I got these duffel bags with their personalized initials on it and you will see as a trend I pretty much bought anything that you could personalize on David's bridal. I'm obsessed with personalized goods and I feel like people really like getting something that has you know, a little bit of them on it. The stuffle bag comes with a long strap as well that you can just put across here. It's inside the bag. I don't want to like unravel it since I'm gifting it. It's actually quite a functional bag. There's like a pocket on the side with a zipper, which is great. On the inside, there is also another zipper pocket as well. Everything has zippers. I love zippers. I know secretly we all love that little matching moment that we can have with our girl group and I did exactly that. Oh my goodness, this is so soft. I just took it out of the bag for the first time. <gasps> Wow, this is so soft, softer than any other PJs I own. I got us all matching tie-dye PJ sets with our names embroidered on there. So my name is there, look at that. And they come with these cute little shorts that have some little rufflies on the bottom here. Oh my God, this is gonna be so cute on. I wanna wear this now. I really hope that tie-dye is still in next year. I really want to wear this right now. What do I do? <laughs> but just so I can show you another one with the name jean Vieve right there. And you can choose uh, different thread colors and different font as well. Naturally, most of us will be bringing makeup and other beauty supplies. So I got all of them a personalized little makeup case or travel case. It has their initials right in the middle here in this gold so that uh, it matches the gold zipper. And this is actually quite practical and quite a good size. So you can put everything in this top pocket up here. But then there's also the bottom flap right down here put like brushes or whatever in here and they come with like two little pouches as well. That's so handy. Of course, the squad needs to stay hydrated all day long. So I got us a bunch of personalized water bottles as well. There were different personalizations that you could do on the bottle, but I chose to go with the one large initial and then their name under it because I thought that it kind of made it pop a little bit more. I got them all in white and of course, one for myself because I gotta stay hydrated too. I figured that the girls would be bringing some jewelry as well. So I got these jewelry boxes for travel. I actually have a smaller one for myself and I love it for traveling. So I figured why not get some for the gals? Of course it's personalized with this beautiful gold that goes with the whole aesthetic. This actually comes in different colors, I believe, but I chose black for everyone on this just because I felt like it looked the nicest. Inside here, you can put rings right there and then snap it closed like this. And then the, here's a little pocket for doodads. And then this thing pulls out like this and you can put different jewelry pieces in each of these little pockets that have zippers on them right here. And you can see it as well because there's the plastic um, side to it. So you can see exactly what is inside. And then obviously put anything down here with a pocket here as well. 
So y'all think I got them just one outfit? No, no, no. Those tie-dye outfits are for like chilling. When we have like little moments in the day, we can be like chilling in those. Those are like lounge wear. But for sleepwear, I gave them the option of some silky PJs, of course. So I got the girls pink ones with their name embroidered in white. I'll show you guys the actual outfit with mine just because I don't want to unravel this one. And they also come with these shorts as well. Look how luxe that looks. That is so pretty, such a pretty color, super silky. And then for me, I kind of got like the opposite color so um, I can stand out in photos. I got the white silky PJs with pink text instead. Then I got some things that are more practical for the day of in case they needed anything. On the David's Bridal website, I found these really cute pink tissues that say, keep it together. I got three of them so that I can put them in each bag. But I really feel like Jen will definitely be a crier. Jen is 100% a crier. Anything, you just look at her the wrong way and she cries. Ching and Lily, I think I've seen Lily cry maybe a handful of times. Ching maybe like once, I don't know. But I feel like their tissues might end up having to go to Jen because this girl's gonna be crying all day long. So everyone's gonna be in heels pretty much most of the day, except for Ching. She gets to wear flats because she's so much taller than the rest of us that I decided she can wear flats so she evens out our height a little bit. But I wanted to make sure if they were going through that torture that they were prepared. So I got each of them these foot pedals that are cushions for your heels. They help by uh, keeping feet from sliding forward and there's like more cushion to it as well. And in addition to that, I also got them an alternative as well, which is these ball of foot cushions so they're like little cushiony things that they can put right at the ball front area of their feet so that there's more cushion to it on the topic of shoes and feet i know that by the time we hit the dance floor most people will want to be in like flats or you know not heels anymore so i got them these fold-up flats that come with a little poche and inside you have the flats themselves oh what's this Huh. What? It turns into a bag. Oh, it turns into a bag that you can put your other shoes in. Stop. This is genius. Who came up with this? You're a genius. So you can throw your heels in here and call it a day. This is genius. What a lovely surprise. Oh, crap. How do I put this back together? No. It's like a puzzle. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's like nothing ever happened. So because obviously they're spending all day in the same dresses. As bridesmaids, you don't typically like carry a bag or a purse around, especially because you're just in photos and stuff all the time. So I just wanted to get them something that they could put all their stuff in and um, bring around and easily put to the side or easily have someone else hold it when we're in photos or doing other things. So this is more just like a practical item. There's this plastic still on it. I don't want to ruin it right now. So. You can look at it with the plastic sail on it. It's just a little clutch so they can just throw some of their must have items in here and each of them have their name so it won't get mixed up. And there's a chain that comes with it too. So they just put the chain on and then we can just hand off the bags to anyone nearby and quickly know whose is whose. More just like, how do I bring my crap around without having to worry about it? Solution right here. I'm not even done with the outfits yet. <laughs> so of course, what is a bridesmaid's gift without the ever so classic must have robe. But for me, of course, not just any type of robe, personalized silky robes where the foil of their name just sparkles like this. So for the girls, I got it in this blush pink with these cute little ruffles. I mean, I chose kind of like a fun one because I wanted something, you know, not so basic. And then for myself, I got the white version with the rose gold and look how nice my name looks on this thing, like this big S and big L, wow. Okay, last but not least, it's not something that they would necessarily use the day of or near my wedding, but I did want to get them like a cute little, just takeaway gift almost. And I found these adorable ring dishes that you could personalize. But this is not an item that you would typically find to personalize. So I thought that was really special. I got a white one for Ching because she's aesthetic like that. I got a teal one for Lily because she loves like bluish teal colors. And Jen loves pink, so I got her a pink one. Look how beautiful that G looks on there. I am so excited to get them these things. I don't know if I can wait till next year. Maybe I'll gift it to them for like 
Christmas this year or something so that they can be prepared for my wedding next summer. Not only do I love giving gifts in general, but the fact that almost all of these are like personalized, I feel like just leaves such a nice touch. I'm so happy that David's Bridal has so many personalized items. It was so fun to go through their website. I almost got like everything on there. Just I couldn't say no to anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this inspired you and your gifting for your wedding. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would love if you were a bridesmaid. And I will talk to you guys again very soon. See ya.